Iowa's 1956 football season will go down as one of the most memorable seasons ever. The 1956 team brought the Hawkeye fans home a Rose Bowl championship. This was the first Rose Bowl championship in school history. They also won the Big Ten championship for the first time in 35 years. The Hawkeyes finished the season 9-1. The team averaged 22 points per game, which ranked 25th overall out of 111 teams, while their defense only allowed 8.4 points a game, which ranked 14th overall out of 111 teams. The team was carried by Ken Poole. He led the team in passing yards and passing touchdowns. With 386 passing yards and five touchdowns, Ken also led the team in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns with 487 rushing yards and six touchdowns. You could say Ken was a very versatile player. Not many QBs could pass and run the ball like him, especially leading in both categories. Another key player was wide receiver Jim Gibbons. He led the team with 255 receiving yards and four touchdowns. He led in those categories by a large margin. The next closest receiving yardage on the team was only 94 yards, and the next closest receiving touchdown on the team was only one. The team was a run heavy team, as they had four players with three or more rushing touchdowns. Those players were Ken Pullen, who had six rushing touchdowns, Bill Happel, who had four rushing touchdowns, Fred Harris, who had three rushing touchdowns, and Collins Hagler, who had four rushing touchdowns. The Iowa Hawkeyes went into the season as underdogs as they weren't ranked on the AP poll. But that quickly changed in the first game of the season as the Hawkeyes demolished Indiana 27-0. After this dominant victory, the Hawkeyes climbed up to the number 20 spot on the AP poll. The next game, the Hawkeyes played Oregon State. Iowa headed into the fourth quarter scoreless and down 13. However, the Hawkeyes struck like lightning, scoring twice in the fourth quarter to make an unlikely comeback over Oregon State. The heroes of the game were Gibbons, who caught the game-tying touchdown and Prescott, who made the extra point to go up by one. The people still felt like the Hawkeyes had more to prove as they headed into the next game going up in Wisconsin where they would truly be tested. Well, the Hawkeyes made the non-believers sit in silence after they beat Wisconsin 13-7 and climbed up all the way to the number 12 spot on the AP poll. The Hawkeyes weren't done there as they rolled over Hawaii in a shutout victory 34-0. Sadly, their next game wasn't that easy, as they played Purdue. But thanks to a late miss field goal and fumble in the fourth quarter, the Hawkeyes seeked the opportunity and took full advantage of it and grinded out a 21-20 victory. After that miracle of a game, the Hawkeyes climbed up the AP poll even more, all the way up to number 7. However, good luck comes to an end at some point as they lost their first game of the season against Michigan. The score was 17 to 14. And what was so sad about this loss is that Iowa headed into halftime up 14 to zip. And I guess their offense wasn't clicking and their defense wasn't communicating right and they blew their halftime lead. And now this depressing loss made the Iowa Hawkeyes drop all the way up to the 15 spot on the AP poll. This loss though ignited a fire within the whole team as they shut out number six Minnesota seven to zero and in their next game number six Ohio State six to zero. Iowa now has proved what their team can do as they climbed up all the way to the number three spot on the AP poll. You know that after the Hawkeyes got the win over Ohio State there was no stopping them as it stopped over Notre Dame in the next game 48 to eight. It wasn't even a competition. This win earned them a trip to the Rose Bowl. The Hawkeyes now had a chance to do what no other Iowa football team has done, which is win a Rose Bowl championship. The team that they would play was an opponent earlier in the season, Oregon State. The Hawkeyes knew that the first game against Oregon State was way too close to go, and they wanted to make sure the outcome was completely different this time. And that's exactly what happened as the Hawkeyes trampled over Oregon State. 
35 to 19. This historic season was led behind Ken Poland as he finished ninth in Heisman voting and won Big Ten Player of the Year. Now that is a lot to say. After this season, the Hawks received the Robert C. Zubik Award for the best team with the hardest schedule. And that really means a lot for the organization as a whole because it's not like the Big Ten Championship was handed to them. They grinded out through the whole season through some hard teams and fought their way there and won the championship. And this was truly an iconic moment for the university and fans as the Hawkeyes brought home their first ever Rose Bowl championship. This glorious moment was able to bring the community together as they celebrated this triumphant season. This team, nor year of Iowa Hawkeye football, will ever be forgotten.